With the new Omicron variant now confirmed here in Utah, health officials are urging people to be cautious heading toward the holidays. New special Sandra Adams live for us in the newsroom tonight with more on this story. Andrew? Mike, even though there is much still to be learned about the vaccine's effectiveness against Omicron, they're encouraging people to get their shots and their boosters, all after the latest news that perhaps seems somewhat inevitable. We are here today to announce that we have discovered Utah's first case of COVID-19 caused by the Omicron variant. Health officials say it was an older adult in the Southwest Utah Health District who'd recently returned from South Africa and had been experiencing mild symptoms. Uh, the case is fully vaccinated. They received monoclonal antibody treatment uh, and they are isolating at home while they fully recover. The case is raising questions that scientists here eventually would have had to confront. They're now having to do so near to the forefront of the spread of the emerging variant. Is it gonna spread between a lot more people a lot easier? Um, we don't know that for sure yet. Um, it is suggested, a lot of the data suggests that it is e more easy to transmit. State epidemiologists acknowledge Omicron could already be more widespread than they know. Um, there is one case identified in the United States that was not related with international travel. Um, so it is possible there's additional cases. What scientists do know is that regardless of the severity or the resistance to the vaccine, the implications of a new variant in Utah aren't exactly positive. We could have a new variant here that could cause a whole new round of infections. We know our hospital systems are already completely overwhelmed and to add on a whole new level of patient burden is really going to stress the system and unfortunately not allow us to have good health care for all the people who need it here in Utah. Well, health officials did underscore that the person who tested positive for Omicron is, quote, doing quite well. They're encouraging anyone returning from South Africa or other Southern African nations to be extremely careful, submitting to testing three to five days after return and quarantining for seven days if those people are unvaccinated. Mike.